Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is part three of my video series of refreshing my 2008 BMW 335i with 158,000 miles. I'm gonna be changing out the oil 5W40 uh, kit from uh, FCP Row. So let's go ahead and get this video started. Go ahead and get the quick jacks actually under the car, which work really well um, to be able to do simple maintenance stuff just like this. So let's go ahead and get this going. So really it's just a matter of sliding the quick jacks on both sides up on the jacking points, very simple, and then we'll soon have liftoff. All right, then we'll just take the quick jack controller, have it plugged in now. And I have it move up just a little bit. We'll double check the jack points. So what we need to do is we need to get it to this locking part. So it means you go a little bit over. Right there, see it locks. I'll make sure the other side is like that. All right, to be able to put it back uh, you first get over this little latch here. So see this latch is about to there. Then you go back to your controller and you're gonna hit the down button. Stops right there. It's like it's on jack stands. Great view of the quick jack here. So it can go up one more setting than this. This is obviously the first setting, which is Really perfect for me, um, you know, doing oil changes, taking tires off, all that stuff. Like I said, we can click it up in even more of a notch and it'll take it all the way to this notch and you get some pretty good clearance. I mean, like I said, this is just quick and easy. Change some oil and uh, be on our merry way. So one other important note to add about the quick jack, once you uh, decompress the system, holding the button down for like five seconds once it's on the lock. You can actually disconnect the hoses all the way up to there. So that way you can move all the stuff out of the way. But a quick little oil change, it's not in my way. I can quickly get under there, change it and be done. But if you're doing more extensive projects uh, per se, then um, you have the ability to do that. So just wanna put it out there. You don't have to have all this stuff in your way when you're trying to work on your car. and easily change this oil here. Go ahead and let that drain for a little bit. So now we'll get to the actual filter. And I don't know about you guys, but changing the oil is just so, it's one of those easy tasks but it's just so peaceful at the same time. Got our cap, got a drain plug, have our man HU816X, which does come with everything that you need, all included. It's kind of like once you do it once, you do it so many other times, swap out everything. Take a pick tool. It's up underneath that really small gasket. Do one on over. You got one right here.
Now we do have some excess oil that's down in here. We're gonna just go ahead and dump this out in the drain pan. That dumped down, we're gonna put our filter, slide it over top, wait for the click. And it is ready to go back on. Make sure everything is on there and good. So the burger tuning one's nice uh, versus having the stock plastic one that actually have broke on people, oil spools everywhere. Nice little uh, addition there that will never break being billet. So very cool, very nice. So let's go ahead and see what we got down below. I like to um, plug it when it just does a slow drip, but if it's still dripping, I'm gonna let it uh, fully uh, drain out. Plug up everything. Okay, now ready to go to add some liquid moly in, 5W40. This is the Molly Gin, which uh, I like using the Molly Gin, especially for a high mileage uh, BMW, because this will actually show under a black light um, where it's leaking at. It actually makes it really nice when you're trying to spot any kind of um, oil leak. See some oil, but you just don't know which part it's coming from. This works great. Uh, test it out on a lot of stuff to where I can identify uh, where it was leaking from, actually on this engine here. And I've been using it ever since. Okay, gonna take our next uh, quarter of oil here. Gets us to six. Takes uh, 6.8. And then we're on our seventh quart here. 6.8, so we'll pour a little bit and just Right on, 6.8. Now once all that's drained off, take our cap. So we gotta go up just a little bit. And what we do, once it's released, see how this little latch thing is down? All you do is take your hand, lift it up, so it can ride over the little drop point. You have to do it on both sides. Then it will actually, it'll go right over it. And then descent down. Easy as that. fully warmed up you can go in your BC menu and check oil it's just gonna sit there and have to read it just leave the door open and just you can come back to it and just make sure it's um, at the max point then you're uh, fully topped off good to go that's what that does it for the video today here uh, for part three refreshing my 2008 BMW 335i with 158,000 miles first started on you know introducing the quit jack on my first video detailing the engine on the second video and then third video just doing a quick oil change like i mentioned uh, early in this video if you want to see an actual step-by-step -step diy not to worry i have the video here on the channel check it out i referenced the card further on in the video so if you need to rewind back to get that i'll also put it in the description box below just so uh, if you guys need to change your oil i'll have a great step-by-step -step, uh, for that a big thumbs up on today's uh, quick little video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already check out the many other diy videos informational videos on the bmw n54 335i uh, tons of m5 videos as well got that here on the channel and uh, check out the other video series more videos to come and uh, they're going to be pumping out here shortly thanks again and uh, hopefully you have a great rest of your day take care